Hi, this is Guru from GuruRides.com with part 3 of the C Sharp tutorial series Namespaces. A namespace is a virtual name used to club related classes together under a subheading. Imagine if you have been invited to a library and offered a pile of books like these. In this heap, would you like to appreciate to capture one of your favorite books? I don't think so, because it would be difficult for you to locate your book in this heap of books. Rather, you would prefer your books to be categorized under subheadings like spirituality, like science, like fiction. And these headings can be thought of as namespaces within which you have classes and the classes can be imagined as the books that you can see. This way you can find your related classes, segregate them under one namespace and they are easy to locate. The computer definition for a namespace is something like a namespace is designed for providing a way to keep one set of names separate from the another. The class names declared in one namespace does not conflict with the same class names declared in the other. The syntax definition for a namespace begins with the word namespace followed by the name of the namespace. To mark the beginning we use a curly brace within which we write down the code declaration and we end it with a closing curly brace that marks the end of the namespace. A namespace once created by default will automatically occupy the name of the project within Visual Studio. Let's launch Visual Studio to create a new project. We'll choose a C-sharp Windows console application. We'll give it a name, Hello Namespaces. Click on OK. And as you can see, by default, whatever has been the name of the project, which is Hello Namespaces in our case, has been chosen as the default name of this namespace. This namespace name can be changed at any period of time. We have a class, let's rename it. So right click in the solution explorer on program.cs and rename it to employees.cs. Say yes. A namespace is optional within a class file. You may omit it altogether. Let's see an example of this. So if you come back to Visual Studio Development Environment and we try to message at the console of the user by using console.writeline and writing a message hello from employees within the hello namespaces namespace. So if you try to run this application by hitting control FI or by going to the debug menu and choosing start without debugging we get the outcome as expected it works fine. A namespace can be nested within other namespaces. Let's take an example demo and try to understand what we mean by this. Return to Visual Studio and let's create our own namespace. To signify a namespace you use the keyword namespace followed by the name of the namespace. In our case it will be India. So we write India, we open a flower bracket within which we can signify another namespace, namespace Mumbai. Once again flower bracket, in this we can have another namespace but right now we are looking for a class. So public class train. Another flower bracket, in this we can have plenty of methods. Let's begin with the first method, public static void travel. This method will display a console application message to the end user's console. So console.writeline and display a message to the end user which says I travel by train in Mumbai, India. We want to call this method travel from within the main method at the top that we have defined initially. So let's go there and try to write the travel method and see if it works. As you can see IntelliSense is not able to find the travel method unfortunately because it doesn't know where it is. The travel method can be available in many classes in many namespaces. Right now it's in India, Mumbai, train and their travelers. So we can write the fully qualified name and it works fine. 
dot mumbai is being signified in intellisense with an opening and closing brace which signifies a namespace dot train train is being signified with this icon because it's a class dot travel is being signified with a purple color cube because that is a method and this way now we will be able to see the outcome so let's say control f5 and see if we can get the outcome it works perfectly fine that is because we wrote the complete fully qualified name of course it makes us write a lot of stuff here a lot of typing effort but it finally works do we have an alternative to this let's find out A namespace can be utilized within a C# -sharp class file by utilizing the using keyword followed by the name of the namespace. Let's understand what we mean by this. Return to Visual Studio and instead of writing ndr.mumbai.train.travel such a long name, what you can do is go to the top and write using the name of your namespace which is india.mumbai. And this way, you can tell the c -sharp compiler that you'll be using this namespace and under this, any class or method that will be available, you will not specify the fully qualified name and it will be automatically picked up. The benefits? Less typing and less typos. This way, you can keep your code more intact, compact, concise and clean. So if you run with Ctrl F5, you can see it works perfectly fine as before. This is a better way of writing a C sharp code, so using the statement to specify namespaces is just amazing. Now if you can, if you can see we have using system, one namespace, using india.mumbai, another namespace, and there are these namespaces which we are not using, that is why they are not in bold. If you look at the console class, this class is available in the system namespace. If you can select console, right click in the shortcut menu, select go to definition. We'll see a little more information about this now. We have the console class in the system namespace available in the MS Corelib library. So this is a namespace system from Microsoft and India.Mumbai was created by us. You can right click on all these namespaces by selecting them and remove the unwanted ones by choosing organize usings and removing the unnecessary usings. This way your code looks more compact and clean. We will now copy this namespace and this code block and paste the same at the bottom. So we have two namespaces starting with India but one namespace has a subordinate Mumbai and the other namespace is a subordinate Bangalore. The class within both of them and the method within both of them will remain same except for the message. Same class and method. Same class and method. If you see there is a reference which says at line number 9 it specifies train.travel is being called and that clearly mentions that the train.travel that we've mentioned at the top in the main method is calling Mumbai's train and not Bangalore's train. Let's run this application and see it for ourselves with a control F5. It's clear Mumbai is being called at line 2. So we'll close this and we'll try to do something different. Let's write down the fully qualified name to call Bangalore's train india.bangalore.trainclass.travel method and this should definitely call the Bangalore's travel method for the train class. Let's see if it works fine for us. You can see there is a reference at the bottom. If you're not working on Visual Studio 2015, you will not see this one reference or zero reference. It is not available in older versions of Visual Studio. So if you hit Control F5, you can see it is clearly Bangalore being called this time on line number two. So it's all beautiful. Things are so clean and neat for us right now. Let's learn more about namespaces. So if you go to the top and write your namespace using india.bangalore, this time there will be an ambiguity if I remove this fully qualified name. Visual Studio says there is a problem. This is an ambiguous reference behavior between india.mumbai and india.bangalore. So what do we do about these two namespaces now? 
let's use something called an alias. An alias is a short name for a very long name. The alias name can also be longer, but it wouldn't make sense. You should always use smaller aliases. So now if we write IM, which is an alias for India, Mumbai, and if you write IB, which is an alias for India, Bangalore, we can save in a lot of time typing the whole name. And if you run the application now, there is no ambiguity. It works perfectly fine calling Mumbai first and then Bangalore. Interesting, isn't it? It works fine. These are called namespace alias names. A namespace may have aliases for brevity to keep your code compact and clean. A namespace can also span across not just multiple class files but also across multiple project files. Let's try to grasp what we understand by this. We have a class called employees which is referring to these two namespaces that we have created at the bottom. One is india.mumbai.train.travel and the other one is india.bangalore.train.travel. We will now move these two namespaces under two different projects. So right click on the solution explorer and choose add new project. For the new project in the dialog box we'll choose the language as C sharp, windows as the project type, class library as the project template. We'll give it a name Mumbai. Since we've chosen a class library the outcome will be a DLL. Let's rename the class to train.cs. We have Mumbai as the project name and the namespace name. We have train as the class name. Let's add another project. Right click on the solution name. Choose add new project. For the new project we'll choose the similar thing C sharp, Windows, class library and give it a name Bangalore. So under Bangalore we'll rename the class to Bangalore.cs. We have the namespace as Bangalore. Oops, I think we made a mistake. Uh, let's rename the class to train.cs within the Bangalore project. So we have both the classes with the same names. Train.cs under Bangalore project and train.cs under Mumbai project. Under hello namespaces project we have employees.cs and it is referring to right now no other projects. Let's copy the namespace for India Mumbai. Cut it and paste it in the class train.cs within the Mumbai project. Likewise, let's go to the employees.cs once again and copy the india.bangalore namespace and cut it and paste it in the train.cs file within Bangalore project. Now if you go to the employees.cs class, you'll find there is an error because it is not able to track and find where this india.mumbai or india.bangalore are coming from. We'll sort this issue in a short while. Let's see how. So if I try to build this application, obviously it doesn't build and displays an error in the error list below. At line number 2 and at line number 3. If the error list window is not displaying at your end, you can go to the top and choose error list like this. You can also pin this so that it stays there forever and you can unpin so that it drills down and minimizes itself and it is only available when required. Now in the references of the hello namespaces, we'll add a reference to the projects that we just created. That is where our namespaces reside. This is the location as you can see at the top and now we'll click on OK and the red wiggly underline should now disappear. So it disappeared and if you now try to run the code it'll run just fine because now we have referred to these two namespaces coming in from two different reference assemblies. So this way we can say that namespaces can be available in different projects not even just different classes and they'll work just as fine as you just saw. Thanks for your valuable time. 
If you feel you have learned something new today, please click on the like button below. If you have any queries or suggestions, kindly post them down in the comment section below.